Bella to Emily's party. I was told it was gonna be liquor and it was girls only. It's good enough for me. I'm celebrating <laughs> that I found a new place and I'm branching out on my own. Of course, y'all know I was in a relationship for nine years. I went through not being acknowledged and infidelities and disappointments and I've always put other people before me. So I got my own place, I signed a lease, I, I got it. my keys. I love it. Who better than celebrate with my girlfriend? Ow! To new beginning, to independence, then these men better catch up or they gonna get left in the dust. That's right! Damn it, kiss to Emily. Yeah. Woo. I was shocked that she was finally taking the next step because she needs to take care of Emily. And she needs to stop worrying about him because he's clearly not worrying about her. I know in her heart that she loves him and she wants to be with him, but if he's not treating her right, then she's doing the right thing. But it doesn't make it less scary. Sometimes love is just not enough. You can mm -hmm. love someone so much that uh, it hurts. You know, I give her a hard time, but I agree. Yeah. It takes yeah. more love. You have to have a friendship. Mm -hmm. You have to have a whole lot of compassion, patience, trust. And all that stuff. Yep. Felt great. And you are really, really quiet over there, Miss. Yeah. yeah. I think it's a great move. And yeah. you know, I'm here to listen mm -hmm. and get to know all of you ultimately. Everybody's different and all the men are different. And just because I might be going through something that don't mean that, you know, every man in hip hop or every rapper is the same because they're all different. I'm happy that you're leaving him. I'm happy that you found your own and you're coming into, you know, just being a woman as your own. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the day, just to let you know, like, you know, I dated Fab three years ago. And I just want to let you know that here and now. Mm -hmm. I don't know what else to say to mm -hmm. you. I don't know how else to present it I mean, it's it not you. a shocker. You look like the type, I mean. I mean, I don't know what that means because what I'm saying to you is that it's, it's not, not it's surprising it's because okay, that, you're one of many. Listen, I don't want to just be around you and you didn't know this. I'm letting you know as a woman, heart to heart, mm -hmm. that's what happened. Come on, bitch. Did you just do that? Did you just ask yourself out like that? You have no regard for what this girl has been through. I just thought it was just me. So you dated him three years ago, but right. my son is three years old. Right, so three years ago I was pregnant. So that says a lot. It's good that you're telling me that now because I am moving on. Maybe three years ago, if you would have told me that, it would have hurt me. And that's not something that I agree with. And that's why I'm in the space that I'm in now. Right. Let them feel how they feel, but this is between me and you. You just telling me that makes me feel better that I'm in this place. Cheers to that. And again, Jeez. I'm a real ass bitch. Yo, be me talking me about your lady and kids. Glasses, no, at right. the end of the day. I, okay. Maybe her intentions were good, but her outcome was just tasteless, heartless, and tacky. If somebody <laughs> you told you some <laughs> like that, uh, listen to me. It's ugly. But it could, it's uh, not uh, ugly. This, uh, is, this is not ugly. Pretty, it could have gotten pretty. ugly, but this is not ugly. Wait a minute. Can, can, Go ahead. Can, explain on, yourself. On, oh, how is she feeling? I'm not trying to have conflict with you. I'm not trying exactly. to. But if but you want it, it's Listen, here. listen, I brought over y'all. I could have took her to the side. And now you. Loud and what? Is what is a problem? Is it it's a problem. Up? This has nothing to do with Chrissy. I wanted to tell Emily so we can move forward, and this is not Chrissy's place to say anything. Let Emily tell what me how she feels. Emily is not the most voice. She can talk. She's a grown ass woman exactly. with a child. Because Let her doesn't talk. talk up is why she's in this position. What happened with you, bitch? What you tell me. Oh, now what happened? Bitch? Yeah. Why, why are you kidding? You want to go with me? You sure? Why? Are you why are you feeling her? Emotion? Are you strapped in? What no. you want to do? You better yeah, get her. You better get her. Hey, you better get her now. Or else your boss gotta leave. You wanna get up? Yeah, I'm get I'ma get up. What you want? What you want? Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. No, no, no. Stop. What you gonna do? Stop. What you gonna do? Stop. What you gonna do? Stop. I came here to do what I had to do. And if you guys have a problem with it, so be it. Excuse me. you to think that it was okay to do that to somebody is just blowing my mind. And I lost it. It was not my finest hour. 
You look pretty. You know you gotta talk to me. I don't wanna talk to you right now. I told like, you don't talk to her. I ain't mad at you, but I don't wanna talk to you right now. Did Chrissy just sucker punch me? Did she not think about what the repercussions could be? That's not a good way for nobody to find out about <laughs> mm -mm. <laughs> Like, what? She's like gonna attack me? Oh, her life is over right now. Hi, Booski Boo. Hi. What's up, Hi. girl? My pet is here. My pet. <laughs> this is very cute. Did you put this place on your own? Of course I did. I've been on a date. How you doing? Hi. Here. Nice oh, Kimmy, this is Erica. Nice to meet you. Nice seeing you. What's going on, sissy? Nothing. Here talking with Tierra. Don't you like her? I, I do. do. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> what is hood? Hood. 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 <laughs> like hood. 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 Mm -hmm. okay. it's, it's all about the you. It's a term of endearment. When okay. I like you a lot, mm -hmm. love you, you're my pud. Okay. Okay. So you're definitely a pud. You didn't call me that yet, though. I just met you. <laughs> no. I just met you the other day. I'm sorry. Oh, you just met. Okay. Okay. We just met. I gotta get initiated, I guess. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just met. Good afternoon, ladies. How are you? Hi. Hi. What do you got? What is we that? We got a fontanelle. Percent. Percent. It's from Italy. It's a nice, crispy, bubbly wine. Nice. Mm -hmm. Where are you from, Erica? I'm from New York originally. What part? Um, the Bronx. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah I've been working on the scene in the uh -huh. videos, videos, acting, videos. modeling, okay. all that stuff uh -huh. since I was 16, actually. So. Am I wrong to ask you how old you are now? I'm 24. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny because me and you were um, up for the same role not so long uh -huh. ago. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. Lottery ticket. Oh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Okay. Damn. Okay. So it's kind of nice like a circle. Out. I don't know. I know you from Miami. We hung out together? No, but I've seen you around. I've never really hung out. We've never crossed. Yeah, it's two different levels, you know? At dinner the other day, Erica mentioned Kim, and she was talking about, you know, money and her hustle, but she never seemed like she hated the girl. I barely introduced the two, and Erica's like, oh, I know you. I, I know you. I'm lost, Yandy. And again, I'm talking to you to be because I can't hear her. I can find you in this situation. Really? Okay, so explain yourself. You want yourself. me to explain the fact that you're here and I'm here. <laughs> like, what else do you want me to clear up? There has to be history there because it, it was just too intense. Where would this come from? I just don't understand. Do you really consider what you do modeling? Yeah. What what, what modeling do you do? I've actually done a uh -huh. fashion week, Miami and great. New York. I've done that for several years. That's great. Um, hair campaigns, mm -hmm. uh, ad campaigns, yeah. Good. I've, I've pretty much done it all. Right. Okay, so yeah. what's the problem? We probably have different types of modeling that we do. I don't really consider what you do modeling, okay, though. Okay, great. That's fine. It's kind of like soft have porn. To. <laughs> oh, okay. It's cute, though. Right. 101 you. ways you can bend over. Girls like Kim Bella, get it in, get it out, show it off, do it off, for zip, zittle, nada. And just because you're a groupie and you've slept with a few artists, doesn't mean you're a model. Girls like me kind of have to give the reminder. Do you really think you're credible? Yes, of course, because you know who I am. I guess now you, know you who all I am because you won the jackpot. You got She's somebody to knock you up. Oh, you you got somebody with a little money to knock you up. Okay. If this bitch does not shut the up, I'm going to have to shut her the up. Okay. From fast. To everybody that oh, ran through and f you. Like, do you on. know who your baby daddy yes, is? Yes, absolutely. Okay. Okay. Lady, you you really and I've been in the baby daddy. I'm in shock and right now. You try to f f my baby daddy probably what? a few times. <laughs> who knows? That's the kind of f you are. You are so cute. Baby. I am in the middle of these two bitches and they want to go at it. They're like hungry gorillas right now. And I'm in the middle, like a banana. Somebody split my ass up out of here. The most hey, now, recognition you will really get is. is the seed you got now, baby. Because right. ain't nothing yeah, else that's why you're credible. Mad? Is okay? that why you mad? Why? Yeah, yeah, because what? Because what? You think you're the only baby mom? Like, he, right now, your, your son's father's oh, with the next bitch. Right? Like, Wait, whoa, whoa, you talking about my brother? You. Yeah, you can we know everything, you. mommy. You don't it's know so nothing about me, okay? And you know what? Who the really wants to? You do, obviously. You got my money, when you come in, do a for free. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Let me look at you, please. My face is alright, right? Oh, you got to know. What's she doing? Just split right here. 
don't play with my man. She f***ed up my eye. Now it's a situation. No. 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 I know how to f***ing catch you. Trust me, I am completely mortified and disgusted with Erica. How dare you? I told you to keep it classy. She was disrespecting me, and that's what happens. You can't let know. that get under your skin like I that. You've been through too much. Hey, it's gonna burn, okay? Okay. Damn. Aww. I'm always gonna think about you. of my friend. So, I've invited all my girls here today to show my appreciation. <laughs> and what better way to thank my girls than with a themed slumber party. Now I know it looks a little weird that I'm here to celebrate the success of a jumpathon for a child with a burlesque sexual thing, but let's be clear. A lot of people in this circle are deprived. I am. All right, where's the I mean, is it a strap on? Cause that's the only kind of I know how to use. <laughs> I think I got something for you, Tamaya. Here, okay. I've got making tips. So, like... <laughs> I hear in these streets that Tamaya's been dipping her legs in the lady pond. So don't worry, honey, fret not. I've got a gift for you too. Uh, bitch, you scared me? I thought it was a <laughs> bad. You know I'm always on the rock. Listen, listen, I'm talking about the face. Hi. Oh, oh, when Jonathan invited me to his slumber party, of course I knew Yandy would be there. But Jonathan and I had a really good time at the Jumpathon the other day, so I figured I'd come to celebrate with him. I feel like we should play a game or something. Let's <laughs> play <laughs> truth or dare. Let's turn this mother out. Bitch. Here, I'll show you my tits. <laughs> Jonathan, I dare you to suck on her tits. Oh my God. He the real one or the fake one? <laughs> I'll suck on the real one. <laughs> Samaya, you do it. Ask somebody in the circle a truth or a dare. Oh Lord. I'm not in this game, so don't even look this way. <laughs> I'm really like, don't. okay, truth. Is there anyone that you are at odds with? Should I raise my hand? Like, what is this? You guys were okay up until the brunch. What made it about that moment when Chrissy's name came up that it became a definitive end of a friendship? It wasn't because Chrissy's name came up at all. My whole thing is, you are not gonna throw jabs at something that I had to deal with and you was literally right there for? And I felt like maybe you tried to defend me, but when was really on and going, you was behind Emily. We're talking about the first time that happened. That, like the, the fight. The, the, yes, the, the fight. fight with me and Chrissy, right. She's saying she's upset that, that Yandy sat ago. and didn't defend her at all, didn't stand up, didn't try to block Chrissy. Oh, Chrissy, please don't come up. And then you went on to have a whole conversation with you, Jonathan, and viciously sat there and talked about that fight like I deserve that. You get your face stomped in, your punani is spread open to the world, and you got a big black eye. But I'm here. Nah, I'm not for it. Wait, 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 wait. Let me get this straight. You got all this aggression for me about something I said pertaining to the fact that you got dragged in Molly Wap, but not the person that dragged you and that kicked you in your face and your punani that was spread to the world. So right. you befriend somebody that Molly walked that ass across the floor. You be you sit there, befriend her, that you and was agree. There, right there. Hold on, I wasn't there. That scene, like, right this, there. Like, this, you... like this. Like this. Yeah. Like this. Oh my god. Like this. My god. Like this. How you like that? You were there. I was there. You did you see that? I did see that. Yandy did try to stop the fight. I mean, all you see is Yandy going, stop, stop. Wait, no, 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 Chrissy, no, 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 What you going to stop? Huh? What you going to stop? Stop. But clearly, Pambella's hurt and thinks Yandy should have done more. It's true for truth, right? No, oh, nobody truth. gives a what oh, you got to no, say at this point. I care. No, because at the end of the day, it's still, it's still disrespectful as 
because you didn't do a goddamn thing. Finish. Because guess what? If it was you on the mother floor, I would have been jumped in that would have pulled whoever off, and that's why you called on me every time for all your bull all right? That's the difference. So what the you got to say now? What you got to say now? Not a goddamn thing. The bottom line is I was always a better friend to Yandy than she was to me. She was always more concerned with herself and her image than being a real friend. Yandy, you are a fake ass bitch. You're a fake ass businesswoman. You have a fake marriage. Like, yo, you're a fake ass bitch. So stop talking about me with Jonathan about that I'd have been through. At the end of the day, you said it like I deserved it. And that's you it. did after you called me. All right, bitch. All right, so no. Kim Bella, what are you doing, Kim? Yo, Tim, it's enough. Kim. It's enough. The bitch telling me I deserve something. It's not necessary to react like this is what I'm telling you. No, it is very necessary. Kim. At this point, ain't no, Kim, coming back. Back. ain't no coming back. Bitch, what did I deserve? I what did I deserve? Tell me right here. Not necessary. We don't need to get aggressive and violent with At each other. At the end of the day, she ain't have to say what she said. You threw a and whole drink of crystal I don't give a f and I'll do it again. That's ridiculous. And I'll do it again and again. And if you want to do something about it, She's then do something about it. Say it. Do something. Do something. Do something. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Yeah. Stop. Ken, stop. 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 I was really trying to be Yandy Luther King but she want to bring the Yandy X out of me. I put up with a lot of her nonsense, and I sat there and I took it. But this right here, you have drawn the line. Get the bottle, get the bottle. Get the bottle. Get the bottle. Where's Yandy? Stop, get Yandy out of here. Where is she? I got Yandy out. They called me and I will stop. No, this is the point of no return. From here, there's no coming back. There's only so many times you can poke and scream and holler. Kimbella has pushed Yandy to her breaking point, and I guarantee you, tomorrow morning, this hotel will be sending me an email. It's not deserved. This is well, this is not so that's what y'all find your king does. Y'all feel like y'all physical right now. That's the level y'all own one. That's where I feel it's like, Obviously, she does too, so what's up? That fight with Chrissy, the way that Yandy was describing it was like, I deserved what was happening. For me now, eight years later, to hear her speak on that fight maliciously, she was never my friend. This we not coming back. Tonight, Kim and I are getting all the mothers and grandmothers of Mendeecee's children together to hopefully get the truth on the table and see once and for all if we can get these kids and family together. This is the same exact spot we met at a year ago with my husband sitting in this exact seat. Tables were a little different. And now you're sitting in this seat. And he would definitely, <laughs> like, keep my kids together. Despite my better judgment, I agreed to sit down with Samantha and Erica one last time. I know this is what Mindy season would have wanted if he were here. I know I'm gonna be born, but I don't want them missing each other. I don't want them to get distance because I'm not here. I want them to still be able to have each other. I have done my part by putting aside the fact that publicly, they tried to sabotage my family and my brand. So all I'm asking is for these women to meet me halfway and put aside all the other foolishness. My mother asked me and Erica to sit down with Kimbella, Judy, and Yandy. We agreed. Hello, ladies. But I don't think any sit down is gonna fix this family. Hi. This is our first time meeting. The other day, I came to the birthday party, to little Mendeecee's birthday party. I didn't come there trying to start nothing. I came there to see my nephews. I haven't seen them in the longest, and also to talk to Kim. Kim Bella is so full of She ain't have no makeup on, she didn't have no gifts, she ain't have no jewelry on, she had no sneakers. Like, I don't believe Kim Bella came for no other reason but to shake the party down for her bestie. Did you hear me say, Kim, can you come outside? You said, Kim, where you I at? I said, Kim, like where that. Where you at? That's I mean, what I said. And then again, like, like I said, her? Like, you like, no, you like you Kim, I see Kim. Kim. Not Kim asking questions. Really asking, were you there? Because yeah. I was there. I didn't get to come in. We were coming around the corner and we heard the commotion outside. I I'm upset now because Judy and Yandy were there. Love and they didn't come inside with the kids because you disrupted the right. party. This is the thing with the, with the whole party. 
party. Even if you're saying you were outside, there was no reason for you not to come inside. You were invited inside. Why were the kids not brought into the party? Like, that was the whole thing. If kids are standing there, nobody's gonna get crazy. Because y'all had left after the commotion. No, we were there. The party was from 12 to 4. Camilla showed up at 4 5. So at the end of the day, you weren't in the party. You didn't bring the kids. I invited you personally to come. I said, I will forget about the bull. I will move forward so these kids can come together. The party. Let's get these kids together. No, you, don't man. say party. Judy is on some bull For somebody that want these kids together so badly, it sure don't make no sense. I'm really getting upset at the whole situation. It's like, we're keeping our kids away from y'all and it's the other way around with Yandy. But Yandy's been only trying to keep these kids together. No, she has it. It's Lord Yandy causing this problem. And this need to stop. Yandy, Grant Project, you can't say nothing to me. I'm this, I'm the wife. You heard a little bit of noise that your hood started and you ran from the party? You wouldn't check to see if the kids were okay? For the kids that you love, for the kids that you trying to keep together. Stop lying, Andy. Whatever you want to say, cool, I'll take it. I want to move forward. What can we do to make sure these kids stay in each other's lives? Just be honest. That's the problem. How many times have you seen my child? I bet there's too many to count. Yeah. So that right there shows you that I've never had an issue with my son. My issue is with her. Yeah, but Erica, you got children by the same man, period. And this <laughs> bastard has <laughs> in jail to over all what y'all. Bastard? I'm talking about men DC. These women need to start respecting themselves and acknowledge the fact it's men DC's fault. Wait, huh? no, no, what the <laughs> you talking about, Kim? Wait a minute. I know I didn't just hear my best friend try to play my man. She about to cause World War III up in here if she doesn't choose her words wisely. Andy is used to talking about Mendeecee to Kim Bella, but then when she hears a bastard and a cheater and all this stuff coming out of her friend's mouth, she's acting all surprised and Kim Bella got that straight out of Yandy's mouth. At the end of the day, if y'all know this done did this to you, done cheated on you, y'all done had sex. That's, 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 that's not my issue. Be mad at that not and this one. Hi. Hi. Happy birthday. Hi. Hi. I came to celebrate you. It's your birthday, but although I had to hear from somebody else that you have a problem with. Kimbella, you can back up a little bit. It's us. We're good. Back up? I'm here with you. It's your birthday. What I was told is that she's the one who told you. No, hold on. Hold on. I said I had a conversation with you. Yes, you about did. About how I felt about her. Yes, and you me. shared things with and me. How you felt about her. her. So why did you bring her to my birthday? is Jonathan even talking about? He was the one talking the most and the only about Juju. She's a very closed off girl. I thought she was like that at first. You have to earn it from her. Juju is fake, honey. Juju is as fake, honey, as a $2 bill. You hear me? Huh. I was actually defending her. So you guys don't do this right now? No, no, I don't know what I'm It's your night. What I said. You feel me? It's your night. What if he wants to get it out? That's what he wants to do. I'm 
want to be friends, we cool. If you don't, I don't, at this point, I don't care. So you don't care if we're friends or not? At this point, look at all this stuff that's going on about something so small. Here you are. Hi, happy birthday. This guy has already been a show, and now, of course, here come Yandy walking in. I've had the worst birthday of my life. I really have. Worst hey. birthday how? We had the conversation. I'm telling you, Saturday. We didn't even discuss it, Juju. It's no, escalating stop. over some stuff with me and Kim. No, I thought stop. me and you were good, and now it's like, you want to fight me or something? I don't. I, I want to fight you now. How do you think I felt that you want to ran into over everything? everything? What, what do you mean I went and ran into over like, everything? I didn't even know what was going on. I feel so bad for Sin. She's been thinking I feel herself. bad for Sin. Please, yeah. I want nothing more than for the two of you to sit and converse. I came here to party. Happy birthday, Jonathan. Okay, okay. <laughs> Happy birthday, Jonathan. Come on, let's go over here. Bitch. What the oh my God. I was having so much fun when it was just you, me, and Anaya. <laughs> This is the first time I'm actually seeing you since we had our conversation over the phone. It's just, you know, unfortunate, everything that went down. Going back to the whole thing with me pulling up to the baby mama situation, I pulled up for you. It wasn't a problem until you sat up there and let me look crazy, and, and I had to take the fall for that. That's what you mad about? A kid's party that you chose to pull up to? You know that you need me right now. Let's be real. Put this nonsense aside, and let's get back to friendship business as usual. You fight your own battles, Lee. You thought the game was never going upstairs. We? This no, is something you, that you This is what you probably thought. That's what you said. You knew you were never going upstairs. But I did. For you. You did not say. Wait a minute. You asked no, me to pull up, listen. and I pulled up for you because I was loyal. We knew we were never going upstairs. Everybody fights your battles, and that's it. Attend. Nobody called you because they wanted you to fight. You wanted to look like you was coming to hold your friend down. Stop with the foolery. We do have an issue, but that, my dear, is not it. You still lie. So don't be a liar. You can keep playing this character. You can look like that because you look like that with everybody. Because you're misguided until she's your best friend. But guess what? It stinks more than anybody's other You know what's up. Own your And with that, until you own who the you are, we don't need to have another Look at mama bear. I'm loving this. You look good. Wow. Really? Thank you, Dorley. Yeah, my girl, you're wearing human hair, not from stomach. It's so no, never did. Oh my god. Don't play yourself. I'm kidding. How are you? Girl, holding down everything, including his music, because you all's not here. So we have been Welcome. Hi. <laughs> Hi. After putting our differences aside, to see Kim walking into an event with Christy, someone I thought we both didn't fool with, I was really caught off guard. So I'm looking at her all kind of sideways. I was just telling them all the things that kind of holding down right now, just with you all not being here. Kim yeah. is doing it all, honey. Get a drink. What you call it when you're not really messy, but you like sipping tea a little bit, you know what I'm saying? It's called being Dominican. <laughs> I was gonna say it's called Jonathan. <laughs> well, I like sipping tea a little bit sometimes with some honey. I saw some on the blog. I don't know too much. I just know that I saw Chrissy's name. I'm about to pull it up. Jim Jones and partner Chrissy lose New Jersey mansion to foreclosure. House sold at auction for $100. Candy, that's messy. I'm reading this. You, you want to take this up with the writers? And y'all know firsthand that half of that shit is not true. And even if it is true, we don't want that shit in the vlog. Nobody's, Nobody's here. Nobody's here. Right right here. We not are, breaking a pinata over it. But made a comment it. talking about that's around the time that she wasn't it's in the vlog anymore. How close are you and Christina? Because your guard is so up about this. And that's your friend. That too. is my friend. Too. Jonathan, you sitting here letting Yandy talk about Chrissy and she not there to defend herself? You supposed to be defending your other friend who is losing their house. It's seeming very, well, very bad I'm sure you feel that way because me and you are not friends, so I get it. I thought we was good. Yes, we have gotten the kids together, but we not friends. I'm confused. For her to sit apart from me and say, I am not a friend, but the woman that Molly walked across your face is a friend and you defending her? Something is terribly wrong with this.
Are right, you scared Chrissy gonna jump on that neck Are again, you girl? Stupid? But you sitting here walking in parties. But that's why you're you not your your fed, there. bitch. You was there for that, and Come you didn't on. do a damn thing. But that's not how I remember it happening. Kimbella was like my sister, so I got up, I blocked. You wanna mention some that you know that I went through, right? Tonight's gonna be a hell of a night in Harlem. We got Dipset, Harlem Zone, live at the legendary Apollo Theater. All of us together, sold out show. My whole family in the building. No matter what the future holds for me and my family, there's only one woman out there I wanna spend forever with. And she about to find out right here, right now. Hold on, look at on a bitch hand. The right hand, which was the wrong hand. <laughs> but everything can't be perfect. Rhythm take you tonight. Gonna work it out under all the lights. Get on the floor and Having my kids here go, right by my side girl, to see me propose to their mother is one of the best feelings in the world. Kim is the love of my life on and the, the only woman I'm creasing the butters for. Go, and together, girl, I know we'll get through anything. 